What is the crack, lads? We are back with a little a quick review of the Worldwide Player of the Week players. So we're going to take a quick look through them. I think there's probably one or two standouts, and then there's obviously ones that I would give my opinion on compared to the other players that you could buy. There has been a bit of a change to the GP as well. Um, so the likes of Sun has gone upgraded from 300,000 GP to 450,000 GP. So we will be doing a, new, a couple of new videos on player reviews and taking that into consideration. But we will start with probably a quick glance over some of the players. Obviously, the lowest rated player is Napoli's Kvratskelia. Let's apologies for my pronunciations. But this guy is 91 overall. He's a left winger. You can't upgrade these players. So that's the big thing here. But they do have their full team play style proficiency. They'll fit into any system with any manager. Obviously, these guys will get boots from younger managers and the affiliation with the managers and the affinity. Um, but they have all their team play style proficiencies. This guy's got actually a lot of player skills as well. He is an up and comer for Napoli and he is one to watch for the future as well. He is a bit of a beast of a player and he's got a lot of nice player skills. Double touch, Marseille turn, soul control, dipping shot acrobatic finish Rabona is penalty specialist as well as gamesmanship and cut behind and turn so he does have a lot of nice winger stats right but what I would be looking at here again I always talk about this when I'm talking about wingers and I'm talking about guys that are going to be difference makers these type of players are only going to be good for you if you are playing possession-based wing play. A lot of people don't play it. I try to play that that style. I'm not really touching go ping pongy, um, which is what's you know meta and what works the best is to kind of like pack your midfield with ball winners and then have very 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 solid um, like strikers that you can just pass through the lines very quickly, one two passes into your strikers, uh, such as Mbappe or Romario or Romanegi or Eto or whoever. But if you are playing on the wing and you want to be that type of player that, that does play possession and overlaps and run-ons and stuff like that, this guy does have some nice stats. So I always look for dribbling, acceleration, and speed. They're the three stats that I always look for and that holy trinity for a winger in eFootball. And as they've done a couple of updates to this, we are going to see a lot of the players like that come to the fore. Like I couldn't play with Salah before in V1.1.4 gameplay, uh, but I have played with him quite a few games in the new update for eFootball 2023. And he seems to be a lot better because he's got that really nice balance, speed, acceleration, skills, and he's able to finish. This guy, I think, is going to be a good player. Obviously, you're going to be getting a random pull here. So if you do get him, this is more a review for if you should, you know, hold on to him. You're not going to be able to train him up whether you should actually put him into your team. Justin Fight as well. This guy, very good player as well. He's a very solid right back. Again, he's probably not pacey enough, I think, compared to the likes of somebody like Marquinhos that you could have in there. You could have Trent in there. You could have Carvajal in there. He's probably not the paciest of options for a right back, but he does have nice tackling aggression and defensive engagement skills or stats, and he does have a lot of nice player skills as well, sliding tackle, interception, and so on and so forth. But again, I would probably not really be looking to get him in my team. Similarly, we've got Zaha, who you can apply everything I just said there uh, to Zaha, except Zaha actually has got insane stats. 93 dribbling, 80 ball control, 85 tight possession, 81 balance, 90 acceleration, and 88 pace. So he's pretty much the finished article for the perfect winger. He is somebody that reminds me of somebody like Diaz from Liverpool, who I would say is probably top five wingers in the game. He's A rating this week as well. He's got standard form, which is a bit of an issue. But is he as he is on A rating, if you get this guy this week, I would definitely put him in if you're playing wing. He can also play as a striker. So he might be a little bit of an underrated star leading the line up front if you're looking for a bit of an injection of pace and Mbappe is down or one of your main guys are down. If you are building a squad, if you're new to the game, which a lot of new people are new to the game, he will be a really good focal point for you to build your attacks. Moving on, we have got Arsenal's Saliba, and then we've got Harrison as well. So I'll just take a quick look at Harrison because he's a similar type of build and player that we are going to encounter as Zaha is just a little bit slower. Again, he can play left mid or right mid. This guy is more of a, like, I would say, less of a, like, pace freak, more of a kind of, like, hard-working. You can see his stamina there is 90. 
he'll last the full 90 minutes lads he's like the energizer bunny and he's got some really nice stats as well as player skills amazing run speeding bullets we'll get those couple of animations different uh the leads man Again, he's Roman flank, so you can kind of compare the two of those. They're very similar players to Zaha. Obviously, just not as fast as Zaha and Napoli's uh, left winger there as well. So we've got Salaba up next, who I actually got Salaba when I spun my packs. And he is an absolute beast of a player, lads. I already know by him that he is going to be a tank for me. He's got all the playstyle proficiency that you could possibly need. He's got all the player skills that you need. The big one for me is um interception and blocker they're two huge ones that you need to have with your strike with your defensive players and again he's got 86 defensive awareness 88 tackling 86 physical contact 73 acceleration is a bit slow so i'm not going to be playing him right back i'm going to be playing him in the center central area or else as a three-man center back with maybe carlos on the left or maybe jordi alba or somebody fast on the left uh, side of uh, your full back so he is a good player as well and then we also have uh, for centre backs we'll do Bastoni who again is a similar type of player he's obviously a bit taller he's obviously one of these players that is going to have unwavering form which is huge for going on when the live update stops but the live update is going to be fairly recent going to be fairly frequent now because the real seasons are back so it's not as big a deal as it was before but Bastoni being on a form he's going to get a boost to everything all these players that are on a form are going to get a boost to everything that they have so they're going to get plus two or three in their stats so if you have it Bastoni on a full form arrow you are going to have his defensive awareness tackling and possibly um what was going to yeah defensive engagement in the low like in the very very high 80s and then you're going to have your speed and acceleration at around 80 as well so that is a huge thing to have a player like that and obviously his balance isn't the best his stamina isn't the best his dribbling and tight possession isn't the best but if you're looking for a stopper i think he's he's definitely one to go he also has interception man marking and sliding tackle but he doesn't have blocker which i think is a very 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 underappreciated player skill so who else do we have so we've got midfielder modric we've got diego costa costa again a few people have been asking me is costa worth to actually get i mean if you get him these are all going to be random you can only spin three of them if you get him i definitely think he's a really good player right he's got standard form but he's on a rating he's got low punt high punt and penalty saver He's also got 84 kick and power, so if you've got your low punt, you can spray balls around the place. 91 reflexes and 87 awareness is very, very high. Catching, you don't really need. Is he going to be better than Donnarumma? Is he going to be better than somebody that you can buy for 250,000, 350,000 GP? I don't think so. I think Donnarumma is still my pick for goalkeeper, unless you get Oliver Kahn or unless you get one of the big boys, you know, like Oblak, who'll compare fairly nicely as well. Now we have got Modric, who again, I also packed Modric, so I have played with him a bit, so I'm kind of feeling around and how he plays. Look at those stats, man. He's kind of like an Iniesta, right? 90 ball control, 92 possession, 93 low pass. You're going to be going into the, into the 95s when he's on full form arrow, which is incredible. 88 balance as well. You're not getting the ball off him too easily. If you are going to be playing possession-based football and you want somebody that is going to dominate in midfield from an actual linking the play up like getting that killer pass in i think you could do worse than modric he's got a nice engine on him he's got 77 acceleration which is more than enough his defensive stats are actually quite solid as well for a player of his ilk that he's able to actually get up and down the pitch and not be too tired and his balance his curl his lofted pass extremely high stats and again it's modric i mean who wouldn't want modric in their team but if you do get him like i did i'm definitely going to use him so now we're on to the kind of three big boys right so we will start with kingsley coleman and move on to fatty I'm not going to go into too much of fatty because i've already covered him before and it's not the best card of fatty there um but again this guy coleman he is the perfect winger perfect height perfect weight perfect speed and acceleration and dribbling he's in the 90s if you max him out in terms of you get your pl your player form arrow obviously we can't train these boys up but you get your player form arrow here and you're linking up with here with all this guy double touch flip flap dipping shot heel trick super sub this guy is the guy to pack if you do get him he is end game winger in terms of uh how you're going to play him he can play left wing right wing left mid right mid so he's the perfect perfect player i actually would love coleman i think he'd probably be one of the best players i could get look at those stats man absolutely incredible probably some of the best stats we've seen for a winger even though he's a right midfielder by trade and by position he is a prolific winger from play style he's also got speeding bullet incisive run 
and he's got all his teammate proficiencies here as well but it's that holy trinity of 94 speed 94 acceleration and 90 dribbling that's going to go up to like 95 96 when you have a full player form arrow absolutely insane fatty again we also have somebody similar with fatty there he's going to be 19 years of age and uh we're going to have him as a player that if you have got a young manager he's going to be a big upgrade for you as well standard form as well with all a lot, a lot of the young players have standard form obviously um he's on a rating though 90 acceleration 86 uh dribbling 87 ball control his finishing is 84 so again he's probably more the finished article if you're looking to score like kind of like salah somebody that can poke out, poke in a couple of goals or not but again everything applies to him with what i've said about all the rest of the wingers in it and last but not least we have the b himself Mbappe scores in seven seconds when he wants for PSG probably do the same for you unless the kickoff glitch is fixed but um yeah I mean absolutely incredible for a center forward right to rival a winger with dribbling with speed and acceleration and have the feet of that to be able to have him with 87 finishing man he is absolutely incredible 86 awareness 89 ball control absolutely insane unwavering form as well and he's got so much player skills so many player skills he's got trickster amazing run speeding bullet and incisive run he's also got goal poacher so he's always going to be looking to get ahead um he is probably the pick of him i think he's probably one of the best players in the game he's top three uh mbappe is obviously probably top three in the world at the moment as well to be fair uh let me know controversial opinion but let me know but that is it lads obviously we have one more to open we've got nine uh left and we did get modric and Salaba. so i mean i would like mbappe or coleman um but i'd practically take anyone zaha would be good as well just to test them out but that is it for me just a quick review i will be doing a review on the ac milan and the inter milan ones as well so let me know what you guys think of the review are you going to pack are you going to spin or skip? I will talk to you later. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you later, lads. Let me know if you get any of these players and let me know if you uh, want me to cover anything else. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.